for me, in, a, in familial terms, partition is a bigger deal because I grew up in my grandmother's house and occasionally there'd be an Indian relative sitting there. Um, and for me, the great moment of, of realizing the weirdness of everything was when my nani's brother, so my great uncle was at her house and, and he said, oh, we must turn on the news today. I want to find out what happened in the test match. And I said, we won. And his face fell and he said, you did? And I thought, oh, of course. Um, and this, of course, the, I think it was the 87 Indo-Pak series in, in uh, Pakistan when Roger Binney got out in the band of three of us, for anyone who remembers that moment. Um, and, and so there was, uh, sort of familiarly I was aware of it, and aware of it as something that was very interesting dramatically. Um, and also because I suppose, at, I'm not, I can't consciously say to what extent Sunlight and a Broken Column fed into it, but that was the novel of my family life that I had. Um, and so for Salt and Saffron, I went back to it. Um, but In the City by the Sea doesn't have it. Cartography doesn't have it. That deals with the 71 war. Um, Broken Verses doesn't have it. Burnt Shadows goes back to it. Um, so it's something that's there. But I think actually for my generation, um, for us, 47 isn't the big date. Neither is 71, which actually we talk about much less. We're the Zia generation. So for us, it's Afghanistan. It's the Soviets. It's the sort of start of the jihad mentality. And that, I think, is, if you look at my generation of Pakistani writers, I think that's what we go back to much more as being what defined the nation we grew up in.